Hello, welcome back to my channel. In this example, we'll use XLOOKUP, INDEX MATCH, INDEX X MATCH, and VLOOKUP functions to do a vertical and horizontal lookup based on multiple criteria. If you're yet to watch the previous video, you can pause this, click on the link in the card above or in the description box below and come back to this. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask in the comment section below. In addition, the link to the free one month trial for Microsoft 365 is in the description box below. Please check it out if you're interested. This data shows five departments and their respective sales. We'll use these functions to look up the actual budget or forecast sales value for each department. I use the simple data validation here so I can easily change the criteria. Let's start with the XLOOKUP function. XLOOKUP is very flexible. It can do a vertical or horizontal search and return the value based on selected criteria. So type XLOOKUP. The lookup value is retail. The lookup array is department in A4 to A8. Now the return array is actual sales. We don't need the optional argument here, so close the bracket and enter. There's an issue here. If I change the lookup value to budget, the result won't change because the formula will still reference the actual column unless I edit the range. To make this part dynamic so the value changes based on the selected criteria, we can replace this range with another XLOOKUP function to return the value from whichever column we select. This is known as a nested XLOOKUP. So clear the return array and replace with XLOOKUP. The lookup value is budget. The lookup array is B3 to D3. Now the return array can be one or multiple columns. In this case, the return array is this range. Close the bracket and close again for the first X lookup function and enter. Let's check if it works. Great. The index function returns the value at a given position. So type index. Array can be one or multiple columns. We want Excel to return the sales value in this array, B4 to D8. The next argument is the row number. Retail is on the second row, so type two. If the array has more than one column, then you have to specify the column number. Actual is in the first column, so column number is one. Close the bracket and enter. There's an issue here, just like we saw in XLOOKUP. If I change that condition, the result won't change unless I edit the row or column number. To make it dynamic so the value changes based on the selected criteria, we have to replace these numbers with the MATCH function. The MATCH function returns the position of an item in a range of cells. So type MATCH. The lookup value is retail in C11. Lookup array is A4 to A8. We want an exact match, so select zero. Close the bracket. Match can return a vertical or horizontal position. So for the column number, type match. Lookup value is actual. Lookup array is B3 to D3. Zero for an exact match. Close the bracket for match, close for index, and enter. Good. Now this is going to be similar to index and match. X match can return a vertical or horizontal position as well. So we'll use X match to find the row and column numbers. So let's do this together. Index, the array is B3 to D8. X match. The lookup value is retail. Lookup array is A4 to A8. Much more than search mode are optional, so we can skip. Close the bracket. 
column number we'll use x match here again the lookup value is actual lookup array is b3 to d3 close the bracket for x match close for index and enter cool i hope you're getting a hang of it now let's move on to the famous v lookup type v lookup the lookup value is retail table array select the entire table excluding the headers the actual sales value is in the second column however if i type 2 and i change the lookup value to budget the return value won't change unless i change the number to 3 to make this dynamic so the value changes based on selected criteria we can use the match function to return the column number so type match the lookup value is actual lookup array is a3 to d3 select 0 for an exact match close the bracket for the match function select false for an exact match close the bracket and hit enter cool in the next video we'll do a vertical lookup based on multiple criteria please click the notification button so you can get a notification when the video is uploaded bye